हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू येट एन अदर लर्निंग वीडियो डू यू नो दैट कपल ऑफ डेज बैक यू एस एफ डी एज इशूड फॉर्म फॉर एटी थ्री टू अरविंदो फार्मा आई गेस दो आर वर्किंग इन यू एस एफ डी एफ रूड प्लांट्स दे माइड बी अवेयर ऑफ दिस वेल फ्रेंड्स हैदराबाद फैसिलिटी ऑफ द अरविंदो फार्मा वॉज इंस्पेक्टेड बाई यू एस एफ डी इन द मंथ ऑफ मे फ्राम सेकेंड ऑफ मे टू टेंथ ऑफ मे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू इट वॉज ऑलमोस्ट सेवन डेज ऑडिट इफ यू एक्सक्लूड सैटरडेज एंड संडेज There were two auditors who conducted the audit, and their names were Justin A. Boyd and Darren S. Brown. So, guys, these two auditors has given six observations, and uh, let us go through the details of all observations one by one. Observation number one: Investigations of an unexplained discrepancy and the failure of a batch to meet any of its uh, specification did not extend to other batches of the same drug product and other drug products that may have been associated with the specific failure or discrepancy. Under this observation, Reuters has quoted around ten examples of various kinds of the investigation reports, which includes laboratory incidents and the OS investigations. Let us understand few examples. Reuters has reviewed PNC product non-conformance investigation reports and found that approximately twenty-nine instrument failures, twenty-eight communication failures, and seven carousel malfunctioning related failures were logged, but there were no appropriate capas taken for these repeated failures. Observation number two. There were no written procedures and the process control designs to assure that the drug products have identity, strength, quality, and the purity. Under this observation, auditors has quoted four examples. Let us see what were those. Auditors has reviewed the batch manufacturing records of few drug products and observed that there were no limits for the compaction force. Auditors found that whatever the process validation initiated after September 2020 were having tentative limits for the compaction force. Along with that, auditors also observed that operators were able to operate compression machine outside these tentative limits without initiating any investigation. Here you can see three examples quoted by the auditors, but the details of the product and the compaction force these details are not appearing. Observation number three. batch production records and the control records do not include complete information relating to production and control of each batch under this observation auditors stated that during the tablet compression the compression machine was set to reject tablets above or below a set percentage of the compression force if percentage limits are not set properly then the compression machine could accept tablets which may not meet the specification Limits are set by the supervisor during the machine setup, and limits can be changed at any time during the manufacturing. Now, now the auditors raised the concern that there were no written instructions in the batch production record or any other written procedure which include instructions for setting the rejection limits. Observation number four: Written stability program was not followed. Under this observation, auditors stated that. Written stability testing program was not followed. During the audit, auditors found approximately 431 stability samples which were not analyzed within the timelines as defined in the stability testing SOP. For example, here you can see that auditors stated that 12 month sample was pulled out on 6th of March 2022 and till time the dissolution testing was not started. Likewise, auditors has given five examples. If you want, you can check the details in the form 483. If you have seen my previous videos on Sun Pharma and Cadilla Healthcare 483s then you might remember that these two organizations were also given the same observation where the stability samples were not analyzed within the time by seeing this repeated observation for every pharma company i can say that no pharma company takes stability studies seriously and this is going to become the next data integrity kind of situation in the upcoming days and i won't be surprised if in future companies will get warning letters just because of repeated observations related to not following the stability testing sop observation number 5 appropriate controls were not exercised over computer related systems to assure that the changes in the master production or control records are instituted by the authorized personnel Under this observation auditors observed that the analysts were having delete provision in the AVT software this software is used to identify the microorganisms along with that auditors stated that the data reviewers and the laboratory analysts do not know how to check the audit trials observation number 6 equipments used for the manufacturing processing packing or 
holding of the drug products were not having appropriate designs to facilitate operations for its intended use. During the manufacturing area round, Reuters has observed that there was a machine for which PLC was used to check real-time data. During the real-time data verification, one of the critical process parameter value found outside the limit, but that value was not recorded by the machine operator. If you see this form carefully, then you will find that details of the machine is not revealed. So guys, these were the six observations which were issued by the US FDA to Arvindo Pharma Unit 7 Hyderabad. There are so many examples are quoted by the auditors in the form 483 against each observation. I have covered few of them. If you want more details about these observations, then you can find the link given in the description or you can visit the US FDA website to download the form 483. So this is it for today. Hope you have learned something new today. Bye bye and happy learning.